All right, here's the Hampton Bay Gazebo Plus ceiling fan. Um, it's 52 inches. I got this from Brandon C. Johnson. I'm showing it without the light kit. I, I don't know if there's, I'm not sure if there's a lot of videos of this fan without the light kit. So I figured I might as well just do one. Also, I just show fans with and without the light kit when the situation actually can happen. And some fans I have can't be shown without the light kit, aka the Dynasty, the Vineyard. And a few other fans I have, but they don't have to switch caps for them. So, um, I figured I might as well just do it with this one. Well, well this switch cap is actually not original to this fan. It's actually from the Farmington. The original switch cap for this fan is right here. But it has that little hole right there. I'm not going to be out. I figured it would look a bit odd having this switch cap on it. Something I do like about this, this fan is, um, has a little black ring in between the um, white kit and the switch cap. So, I will be using that black rubber thing in between it so for future fans that I f test with white kits on it so it won't scratch up the switch housing so um yeah now this fan is actually very powerful especially for a Hampton Bay fan um I figured I just mentioned that now it's probably as powerful as the camera maybe a little bit less powerful but um I was actually very surprised on how much air it moves when I was on high not as much air moving from a hunter but it's around that um some people might disagree, but um, from what I'm feeling from the 100 fans in my house, is actually, oh, the air movement's very similar. I'll say that. But um, yeah, it's actually a pretty good fan from Hampton Bay. It's actually, this is from 2004. Now, this is not the original gazebo that they made. It was, well, it was very similar to the first one they made. There was one, uh, I know there was, there was one that was like this, that was just called a gazebo, but I'm pretty sure there was another one even before it. That looked more like it looked, I don't think it had pencil brackets, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, I don't know, I think it was actually just like this, I'm, I might be thinking of a different fan, outdoor fan, but um, yeah, um, the original one didn't have those whips around the um, weight arms, you can actually like see the screws without having that thing covering, you know, just see that little guard that's on the weight arms, and there's the Hampton Bay logo. Um, yeah, it is a very unique looking fan. I really like the look of it. Let's get a view from it from up here. And I'm showing um, the, this side of the blades. I'm not going to show it with the, with the other side. I feel like it's not. I'm, not, I'm just not in the mood to do it right now. Sometime in the future I will. Now the fan view really does look like a um, Huntington 3 or a Huntington 2 fan with, with the switch cap with the blades. The blade arm sandy, but the um the vents are are different and um it kind of looks like a Farmington as well with a switch cap. But um this is definitely a lot more powerful than both of those fans. So um yeah, let me go ahead and start the fan off on low. And I will note that the between is, is wrapped around and there's no vents on, on the bottom side of the motor, so it won't get caught in the chain. Now I will know that the um with the chain being there um it's also a very long chain so I actually got a reason why I can't really tape it up oh I'm out of tape so um yeah but it's, it won't be that annoying clanking sound that that some of the other fans that I for tested back in way two thousand fifteen you know, like before I started doing the tape. I do feel a nice breeze from it over here on low. It's going out of room actually because I have the infinity off. I always I'm keeping it off because I want to you to feel an exact amount of air movement from this fan. Like a, or a fair f test to see how much this fan moves. How much this air yeah, this fan moves. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm only gonna be able to test this fan tonight along for the um all of this fan with the light kit. Um, tomorrow I'm not sure if I'll be able to test any fans, neither Friday or Saturday, but um, Sunday I will definitely be able to test fans. So I might, there might be a few days that goes by that I don't test fans just to have work the next three days. So, um, yeah. So, um, I might be able to test fans tomorrow. Um, it depends. I might just, like, assemble them before I go to work. And then when I come back, they're already assembled. And I can, I just test it and that's it.
The next one that I plan to test is, will take a bit to assemble, but um, it is a remote, so um, it won't be a difficult to um, test. And there are three of these fans in um, Boston, like right next to the um, Boston Garden, where the Celtics and the Bruins play. And there's this, it's like this place that like, I got like the passport photo back when I was in the, um, what grade was I? In seventh grade. Um, it's like around 2010, 2011-ish. Yeah, it was 2010, that's when it was. It's been, it's been six years. The fans are still there, but there was three of them. There's like some like, passport photo place, but they were very strict, I couldn't, so I, I, unfortunately, I don't have pictures of them, but, um, the rules might have changed over time, since a lot of people use cell phones nowadays, so I feel like, I don't feel like they would say no to that, so, in one of these days, if I go back there again, I'll try to get a video of them, exactly like this one for switch cap, and that's the first time I actually seen a, a gazebo plus with a um, switch cap, and I found it to be very unique looking, I might as well like the look of it, I didn't think it would look so good without the, um, like it, but I do prefer them with the white kit, to be honest. But they also look pretty good with them too. Alright. I have to show you that it's quiet. And also the chains. It's, it's almost as long as a fan has the additional pole chain at the infinity. It has the pole chain from the fan and it has the pole chain that added to it. It's basically this link of a pole chain like that but just without the um, little knob on it that you pull. It makes a little hum no it does make a bit of a hum on um high. But um the fan is basically brand new, so I don't know if the bearings are even broken in yet, that could also be the other reason. And I don't think that I'm um, Brandon I'm not sure if Brandon ran his fan out twenty four hours for the bearings break in. And it's making a little bit of a clicking, clicking noise, but um, it's nowhere near as bad as like when I tested the coastal breeze on high, when I'm the co not just coastal breeze, silent breeze on um, when I four tested it on high um, and that was a good amount of fans that I four tested before that, that the chain was hanging against the blade arms quite a bit. I, really, I, I swear it feels like I'm testing the Farmington again almost. Just looking at it on the camera, it looks like the Farmington, but the vents are different. Basically uses the um, same exact vents that the um, Landmark 3 Plus ceiling fan would use. I think they still make the polished brass ones, but I do know that some of the Home Depots don't carry them no more. Especially the ones that I go to often, they stop selling them there. Um, I know they're horrible fans, but I do. I actually wanted to get one. Probably might get one used one of these days. I know they're horrible, but they're a huge childhood fan of mine. The polished brass ones and the um, white ones to be exact. <clears throat> but I'm actually I'm feeling a good breeze from this fan on medium. It's actually good enough that I would in install that like a um back porch that was like sealed off or like a sunroom. I would actually wouldn't mind putting this in there. Like a room that would need an outdoor fan, I wouldn't mind having this in it because it's actually pretty good. The only thing is though I wouldn't want to put it there only like I could bring it to the DR because it wouldn't rust up, but the thing is it would get yellowed without a doubt so um I end up seeing how how nice looking it is I wouldn't even want this fan to get all yellowed up and stuff like that same thing up here it would definitely get yellowed if it was outside it's the only downside about outdoor fans that are white they look nice but they start to lose it they start to get yellowed over time Show it on medium, medium. What? 
machine out of the way so you guys can hear it. I just don't want to have to chain on top of the switch housing during the whole video. This looks a bit weird in my opinion. See, kind of like with the um, carousel that I had hand to be carousel. If I had a switch cap for it, I would show it without the white. Same thing with the um, Glendale. But on those, they don't have switch caps for them, so I can't really do that. Or the Dynasty in the Vineyard. Or the Cheshire. Kenmore. And that's it. Yeah, I was actually just looking at them while I was whisking them off. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and show this fan on high. I'm not sure if it's moving on its own, but I don't think so. I always like try to keep the um, logo right facing straight at me, but um, I remember having it off a little bit off to the side like it is now. But um, yeah, it is moving a great amount of air. It is going pretty fast. So I'm. I don't think Brandon, I'm not sure if the bearings are broken in because I did test one recently with the light that, and it's, the bearings are definitely broken in because I think had like a five minute long spin down to it. But um, the spin down on this one's not that long obviously, but um, I don't remember, if it, I don't remember if it went faster than this or not. I, I was trying to do a quick video of it. I don't need to have my own one to test so it makes up for that. Um, yeah, I, there's two of, of these that I've done videos of. One that I did on all speeds, and one of them I did at a, some like porch or, the, or like some sunroom of a priest or so, of some like porch house at the church. I don't know. I would post a video of those two fans in the description below. Once I get the internet working again on a computer, I might be able to do it from the phone, but it might, it's a bit difficult. Um, yeah, it's definitely moving a great amount of air. It is moving the um, pull chains on the um, infinity a little bit. So that's a good sign. I'm going to bring it up close so you guys can hear the air movement while it's on high. It's weird. It's it seems like while it's on high, I've noticed that it, it goes fast, then it slows down a tiny bit, then it goes back faster. Like it just like right, basically like what what it did right now. See now it's starting to slow down. I don't know if it might just be my eyesight that's doing that, but, um. but yeah, it's definitely moving a great amount of air. I honestly wish that the the newer one, the two, was as good was just as good quality as this one. Just sweep it up there a little bit. Yeah, I think the bearings definitely need to break in a bit. Because he, the brand didn't got this, it was all newly wrapped up still. But on uh, the chain fell. But um, it was it didn't have the box, so it was basically a brand new fan. So man, yeah, let me um just shut it off and do a spin down. Yeah, let's see it there. No, me as at first I was like, if I saw one person, that's and it was like twenty five bucks. I want, I don't know if I'd buy it, but um, seeing how um good this fan is, I actually wouldn't mind paying twenty five bucks or thirty bucks for it. They are common, but um, if I was to get them one for that price, it would have to be like a the Verde one. They did make them in Verde and copper patina. Or the white one seems to be the most common one out of all of them. I remember that copper patina one was pretty common as well, but. 
nowadays it seems to be the white that the white one's the most common one. Although a friend of mine, well my ex, um has a verde one. I don't know. I'm still good friends with her. Maybe I can try to talk to her and she let me have that one. But um yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen, but who knows? I can just maybe tell her like if they ever just swap it out, let me know. Did a video of this you know, there was two other fans, a forty two inch low profile and bright grass actually had a schoolhouse swipe but it was missing the globe and the um hint to care to us too. This was like three years ago. But I only did quick videos of them because I was in a rush to leave. <laughs> I actually want that little profile now that I remember that she basically seems like one I have but 42 inches. I'm missing how long it's spinning down. Um, I, ho I'm, I hope, I really hope that it's not as long as the um, other ones that I tested about a week or two ago. I think it's been only a week since I tested the one, that other one at my Father's godparents, please. Actually, right after that, after, right after I recorded, I was actually planning to um, start all over and um, do another video, but um, my dad was caught said it's time to go, so um, yeah. So I just did, uploaded that one because that was really the only footage I got of it. That I just wanted to upload it, so um, yeah. But yeah, I am on the lookout for the Verde one. That one I really like a lot. And naturally, I was planning to get a Gazebo 2 and um, the natural iron finish for the I'm living room in the DR. Could, still could happen. Um, I am not going to switch. It will be like a dual install, basically the same that I have for the um, low profile and the password 2. But it will just be with the brown cake instead. So um, yeah, it's come to a complete stop. That will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.